Hey guys, what is going on and today? We are going to Slater's 5050. Once again, I'm meeting up with another competitive eater named Freak Eating. Go check out his channel, link in the bio. You can see his video. He might be doing different things than I'm doing. It's more of like a vloggy style plus the challenge. And we're trying the 50 alarm burger. Apparently you have to wear gloves and sign a waiver to have it. I'm not very good with spicy food, so later on the toilet, I'm going to explode that and then I'll have to order a new one. We are in Pasadena, almost to Slater's 50-50, going across the mountains right here. Beautiful, 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 whoa, also very beautiful. Because we don't want to miss the handyman. You don't want to fist, you don't want to miss the handyman? Oh, wow. <laughs> You don't want to fist the handy, man. All right, so we just got to Slater's 50-50. I think I saw freak eating in there. We're about to go in, and I'm about to, uh, I'm about to die. I, I don't handle spicy very well. So I have the 50 alarm with the bacon chili cheese fries. How about you spread on the side? And so the pimento, there you go, boss. Pimento. Ooh, thank you, All right, sir. on the side. These are the southern pimento fries. They got bacon, some kind of tapatio ranch, some cheese, and they got scallions on them. And here is the 50 alarm burger, I believe. Is that a habanero on top? Yeah. Yes, a habanero and a jalapeno, the bun, habanero jam, all the stuff. Ingredients will be listed below. It looks and smells delicious, though. So normally we have to wear gloves and sign a waiver, but, but yeah, normally yeah, normally I've seen people they have to wear gloves. On, on the menu it says you have to wear gloves and sign a wa waiver too, but we we don't have gloves or a waiver, so I am amazed. They just want us to suffer, so I'm actually kind of nervous right now. Doing an intro or anything? We're, we're about just going in. I think we're just going in. I we're think we're going in. Yeah. So all right, eat the ghost pepper burger. Yeah. Right 50 here, alarm. yeah, the Sorry. 50 alarm burger. 50 this is alarm. Freak Eating. Check out his channel below. Thanks. And for your viewers, my channel will be below. All right, yeah, yeah we're gonna get right, Liam's channel it. down below. Let's keep <laughs> awesome. this thing. All right, Over. cheers. <laughs> Go on, have a <laughs> It's tasty. The burger is supposed to be like encrusted with uh, ghost pepper, right? Yeah. Definitely crusted with some ghost. Oh, oh, wow. Now it's getting a little spicy. But not not definitely spicy. I'm getting a buildup. Like, it's yeah, definitely it's getting. definitely building up the more I'm eating it. But I was expecting first bite to be done. It's actually very tasty. Yeah, I think it's very, like, I would actually get it again. I'm not really, I'm like, I don't, I rarely get fried egg on burgers. I'm not really Same. fond of it, but it works. Right, it does work, you're right. I'm kind of wanting it to be spicier. I thought I would freak out from how spicy it is. But... It's just a good tasting burger. Like, my forehead has a little perspiration, but like not like profusely sweating. Uh, unfortunately, or for better or worse, I eat a, I've eaten a lot of really spicy things, mm -hmm. so I think it definitely builds up my tolerance. Yeah. So like, I mean, compared to the death tacos, for example, like, right. it barely registers. I'm gonna try the habanero though. I'm I curious also, about I also am gonna try that as well. Yeah. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Not as bad as I thought it'd be. But, it's bad. <laughs> it is bad. Because I haven't eaten anything today, the habanero just straight went to my stomach, and that's where I feel it. Oh, that's a bad burn. Fries delicious, burger was delicious. I don't really have an out outro. Oh. Um, because I mean, I might be vlogging after this. I don't know what I'm doing. Got it. Uh, so pretty much my outro is normally, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> like, I don't I. know what I'm doing. I don't know. Something might happen. I don't know what's going to happen. But we did the burger challenge. Um, yeah. Obviously, it was a tasty burger. Like we said, Delicious. you know, it could be spicier. But uh, go check out Free Eating's channel. He does a lot of great content, a lot of challenges. Uh, comment down below if you think we should do any more challenges, any challenge ideas. So now I'm just walking down the streets of Pasadena not knowing what to do, waiting for Aria so then we can go somewhere and do something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I don't really have a plan for this vlog. I thought that the burger challenge would take up most of it and be the most entertaining. However, uh, after that habanero, I do have like a pit in my stomach from the habanero eating it on an empty stomach. It kind of did throw my stomach off a little bit. So uh, maybe I will my pants. I don't know. We are at Church's Chicken. So you know we're in a good neighborhood. First bite of your church's uh, chicken honey butter biscuit. How is it? Wow. Delicious. 
Look at that. I haven't had churches in a while. We got the three drums. Good old church's chicken. I don't know how this happened, but it just broke right out of the bone. <laughs> I don't know where we're at, but we just found this little hidden gem. Arroyo Seco. There's definitely rattlesnakes over here, so we're probably gonna die. <laughs> Why would you say that? Because there's probably rattlesnakes. Look at all these holes. Do you want to vlog your recipe? <laughs> okay. Really? Yeah. So yeah, she's gonna make some chili. Just the first thing you want to do <laughs> is to put two tablespoons or more of um, some sort of oil. I put canola oil. That's very good. And then you want to saute the chopped bell peppers. I prefer chopped because um, it's very time consuming. Oh. And then same with the onions. I like it pretty chopped. You want to do your makeup so you look good for the camera. Let me just stop. <laughs> now you want to put two packs of um, ground turkey in there. A little mash. In the camera, it almost looks like some kind of strawberry ice cream with like jelly beans in it. Um, next, chili powder and turmeric, and then I add paprika because that's my favorite seasoning. Really? Okay. And then I add okay. Chicago seasoning from Penzi's. Another five minutes, you're gonna wanna cook this pot of goodness. And then you clean up as you go. So then you don't have to clean at the end and you could just eat. You don't wanna drain your beans. Yeah, uh, stay on top of dirty dishes. On <laughs> <laughs> you don't wanna drain your beans on top of your so dirty it's like dishes. like a weird swamp in like a little of water. You can use whatever beans you want. Yeah, I right? like to use a variety, like black beans and pinto beans just for a variety, but it's two bean turkey chili, so whatever two sets of beans you have, it's fine. You could do garbanzo, pinto, black, kidney, kidney lima. lima. We got the uh, contadina. Oh, stand back. Contadina. And then you're gonna wanna pour that in there. Oh shit, splash me. You got me. You got me. <laughs> oh. Add some balsamic. <laughs> Balsamic vinegar. <laughs> like this. Just like that. Like that. <laughs> and you also want to make sure that you eat uh, a really spicy burger earlier in the day <laughs> <laughs> and chili in the same day so you can explode this toilet later. Wow. <laughs> Cornflakes garbage cereal. But we have, uh, um, what else do we have here? We have some. Uh, some black olives, mild and nutty. They're ripe olives as well. And some freshly cut whole kernel corn. I usually put it in with a little liquid to make it sweeter. Oh, okay. So you're gonna put, but put this the corn is, in. This might be what my, me and my parents have diarrhea, but it's still worth it. Then you wanna stir that corn in there. You're gonna give it a nice, nice stir. That's right. What do you expect? This is five star restaurant. And then also, um, what you have to do is you have to get a, you have to get the, the last waffle out of the toaster and take a big old bite of it. <laughs> oh man, there you go. You should just skip it with nice. an EW. I'm not skip or skew. You can do two scoops. You can do four. You can do one. You can do however much meets your belly. Let's look at the garnish. Let's see. I've never actually had sour cream on chili. You know that? Oh, well, it's the only way to eat this. So. Oh, so you mix in the sour cream? Yeah, so it like makes it cooler, makes it more like rich. I was thinking like you just kind of throw it on there and get like a little spoon of it with no. every bite kind of thing. So now, oh no, I'm scared. We're, it's time for the the test. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything here. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Maybe just wait. Chef Gordon Ramsay going in for the bite. I like it. 
Mm -hmm. Before and after it. That's what you do there, and then it could look like that. You could eat it however you want, with or without sour cream, with or without cheese. So now we're gonna go and eat this chili. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> my brains out in this bathroom, and um... And I'll smell it. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe, and have a wonderful <laughs> day.